Okay, today we are going to practice the S sound. The S sound can be tricky even for native speakers. It should sound like this. So a very skinny stream of air should be coming out the front. If you lick your finger, you should be feeling it come forward in front of you like this. You don't want it coming out the sides. So if you're feeling a lot of air coming out the sides, you're probably doing it wrong and it probably sounds like shh, which we don't want. So make sure that your tongue is, let me show you with Mr. Mouth here. Make sure that your tongue comes right up here behind the top teeth. Can you see that? Okay. Right up here behind the top teeth. If you notice up here, there's some bumps here. It's called the alveolar ridge. It's that kind of hard, um, bony area right behind your top front teeth. So that's where your tongue is supposed to hit. Now, not everyone is going to put it exactly right up there. Sometimes people have their placement down a little farther behind the teeth. It can still sound okay as long as your tongue doesn't come out through the teeth, which will sound like a TH. So we don't want TH for the S sound, we want nice and skinny coming forward. If your tongue is too far back, like maybe it's around here somewhere instead of up close to the teeth where it should be up here, then you're gonna get a funny sound and the air is gonna shoot out the side like I mentioned earlier. So make sure it comes forward. Nice and skinny. Um, and Z is the exact same thing, only with your voice on. Z and we'll practice that another day. But okay, let's work on the S sound in words and make sure you're saying them with a good S and not a Z or a TH and not a SH. SH. Guess I should tell you about the SH. Um, if you put your tongue too far back and up near the top, shh, you're really going to get a shh, shh, sh sound. So we don't want um, th, we don't want z, z, we don't want sh, shh, shh, and we don't want the mad cat sound. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's practice s words. Here we go.